Hi everybody, welcome to Homesteading Off the Grid where we clearly use saws. Whether it's <clears throat> big heavy Husqvarna farm tough chainsaws for the tons of piles of firewood that we cut every year. Whether it's a, uh, a scroll saw that we use to cut eyes and mouths out of our jack-o'-lanterns that we make as hobby projects in our wood shop after having used a bandsaw to cut the, the board down into the shape of the, uh, the jack-o'-lantern, or be it a scroll saw to cut wood cookies at times and other projects with which we make cute little wood slice uh, Halloween ornaments, and we also make Christmas ornaments. Here's a little snowman I made just yesterday. Now, I've had one problem with saws, and that is, even though these all work great, this is why I'm showing them, I wouldn't use them if they didn't work good, uh, and I certainly wouldn't recommend them, but I'm, I'm kind of maxed out at size here with about a four inch wood cookie, and the reason why is because uh, my, my skilled bandsaw here doesn't go up high enough to cleanly and effect, well, it just won't cut anything wider than five and a half inches. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna make some beautiful snow people that are about six, eight, 10 inches uh, in diameter as far as the cookies go. And so what I've gotta do when I do that is I've gotta go the old fashioned route and use a handsaw. And I'm, I'm not above it. I love physical labor. I love manual labor. It's like a free workout with having to pay gym memberships. Um, but it's not very efficient. It's not very time effective. What I'll have to do is if I find a, a limb, such as this gray birch limb from a tree that fell on the top portion of our property last year, give it time to dry out to reduce checking. Um, I've got to basically take the big old heavy chainsaw up and cut off the limb. And I, it's just, it's, it's inefficient and ineffective and tiresome to sit there and try to cut thicker wood cookies off of the big heavy 25 pound chainsaw. So I'll bring the limb to the wood shop. And again, it just doesn't fit under here, underneath that, that uh, it, it, the scroll saw or the uh, band saw doesn't go up high enough. It's not safe to use any other type of saw. So I've had this conundrum for, well, for the last couple of years since I've started my woodworking projects. Uh, I mean, we even have the Craftsman pole saw that we use to cut limbs. Believe it or not, I tried to, to use that. It's just, it's not effective. So I thought I need the perfect medium sized power saw, a power tool to do this project and other projects I have around that I put off because I don't want to carry, you know, don't want to do extra weight work to get this up there for a medium sized job. What is that saw? Well, today in this video, I hope we find out that the answer is the Natiti brushless battery powered, rechargeable battery powered saw. I have a brand new one in here. We're gonna unbox it, open it up, test it out, see how it works, and see if this is the perfect sized saw, the perfect running saw to fill that perfect niche we've been looking for that for the last two years, none of these saws have ever filled. Okay, so I've cleared away the other saws here. I've moved the camera up a little closer to give you a better view. Uh, this came yesterday, and listen, I'm considering being a direct affiliate for this company with this saw. They've been courting me for a little while and I've been saying no, no, no. And then I finally just, you know, made the connection that this might fill that gap that these other saws aren't. But we're gonna make sure first before I commit. And this video is going to be that effort toward commitment. You get to take part. So what I like right off the bat is that it comes in a very nice case. You, you just open it up like this. Now I did open it yesterday. There's a lot in here that I like and I was very impressed with. Easy to read, simple instructions. Okay, it comes with a uh, little little bottle for your, your, your chain lube. It doesn't come with any chain lube. I've got plenty of that in the shed. But I was really impressed with this because we're really big about safety around here, safety first. And it comes with a free pair of work gloves and a free pair of safety glasses. And I don't like putting things together, mostly because I suck at it. There's nothing to put together. Check this out, it comes bubble wrapped. Uh, and I went to the site, I've done my due diligence on this. These come in multiple colors. 
Now I've got chartreuse, which I'm I was happy with when I saw it because that is the the fa my favorite color of my favorite fishing lure. A simple little jig. When I'm sun fishing or bass fishing, I use chartreuse. So I was like, wow, it's the same color of my favorite fishing lure. So I like that. I know that is like not a big deal for most people, but it is for me, okay? I just make these connections, and that's a connection I made. I like the fact that it comes with an extra chain. So if this one dolls up uh, and I need, need to get a new one, I will put this one that's already in the packet on it and then order it. Supply lines are running slow right now, folks, because of the current economy, the current world, right, worldwide economy. Um, I can still continue to work while I'm waiting on the other chain to come in, okay? Came with a really neat little screwdriver that works for this tool. And the neat thing about this, I mean, because you probably got all kinds of screwdrivers. I know I do. But this one, you just keep it in the case so you always have it when you need it. Now, here's another feature to this product. And by the way, this product sells for about $109. $99, $110 approximately. Um, should I, should it work? And should I choose to become an affiliate? They're going to give me a coupon code and I'll put that in the description box below. Wait for it. Drum roll. You got to make sure it does what it does. I'm not going to become an affiliate of a product that I don't believe in, that I don't use. So, so if it passes a test, there'll be a coupon code below. Get you, I believe it's 8% off. Uh, but something else that I liked is the fact that it comes with two two batteries okay and then it comes with a charger that simply plugs in right here below where you attach it to the to the saw now i charge these i charged these yesterday because i knew i was going to make this video today i wanted them to be fully charged so my charger is still in there the the the, the thing you plug in um this just slides on like this like that see how simple that is 21 volt, 2000 amp battery. Now it's got a safety. Look, if you try to pull the trigger to run the saw, it's not gonna work. You've gotta hold in this safety button, then it works. So look at that. Check it out. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth, okay? But now, it's time to find out how it operates when the, where the rubber meets the road. As you can tell, brand new, I have not tested this saw. This is a completely unbiased review. I didn't take this saw and go out and do some work with it to make sure it could do the job and then say, oh, look, look how well it does the job. It's perfect, go buy one. So I earn a commission. Nope. We're going to try it out here for the first time on video. I'm checking out the comfort of this safety stuff. I mean, the iPro feels great. It fits. You know, it's like one size fits most. At least it's a one size fits me. Look at these gloves. These are nice. You know what's nice? Chartreuse really is my one of my favorite colors. All the working gloves I have are actually chartreuse. So... By using these silverish gray type gloves that come with the saw, I can clearly tell where the saw ends and my hand begins. Hey, the bird thought it was funny. All right, so let me, we gotta, now remember when you're working outside, stay hydrated. I like to drink my hots and my colds cause this Stanley trigger action travel mug keeps the hots hot and the cold cold out of this Stanley Trigger Action Travel Mug. Ah, so refreshing. It's too big to fit into my, um, to fit into my, my bandsaw. And that, that big Husqvarna Farm Boss, I mean, that, that is a beast. That chainsaw is a beast, but this project isn't necessarily big enough to justify using it. It's too heavy to carry up there. So what I'm going to do first is because I'd, I'd sawed this thing down making my snowman projects to a fork. So I'm going to cut the fork off. We're going to see how it does. So this will, will simulate cutting right through a log as if I were up there. And this weighs nothing. I mean, this is so light. I could throw this in my little backpack with my water go up to where I, uh, I want to work and get to work. See how it does. Wow. 
Wow. Look at that. Whew. Okay. Two things I like. Number one, this is so lightweight. I mean, I'm sure it says how, how much it weighs in the specs. I never checked that. You know, I would estimate, and we, we sh ship out a lot of the projects we make. Um, I would say pound and a half, two pounds maybe versus 25 pounds of the big chainsaw. But this is what I like, especially. Look at that clean cut. I was thinking, well, this is a chainsaw, so there's gonna be a lot of teeth marks, which is fine. I've got a really awesome skill handheld rotary sander that I could sand it down with, but I don't even need to do that. Look at that, look at how smooth that cut is. So, now let's try it. Um, so let's say I've got that, that fork section cut off because that's not good to do wood projects with. There's going to be knots inside there. Let's say, okay, let's say I take a big bin up to where the rest of this tree is, big plastic Tupperware bin and put it underneath this. Can I sit there and just saw off wood cookies like that and bring them down here, paint them in the wood shop? Let's find out. So I want to make sure to line it up so i got a straight line. Oh my gosh, perfect. I mean, check it out. Here's my wood cookie. Look at that. Look at that, check this out. Where's my snow guy? Hold on, hold on. Look at this. So now of course I'll use my bandsaw to cut off the straight edges that I need to be able to wood glue it together. But you saw how quick that was, okay? Just a few seconds, <laughs> sawing right down through it. <laughs> Check that out versus this. This is what I've been doing. This is what I've been I've been doing. I've been going like this. Do you know how long this takes? Seriously, like my son started driving while I was doing that one day and he was 11 and then the next thing I know I've got four wood cookies and he's driving a car. So look at that versus this. And not only is it quicker, it doesn't wear me out. Now my son's really just 11, he's still not driving, but you know what I mean, right? Who's got time for, for that, that, that handsaw when you can use this Natiti uh, little brushless battery operated chainsaw? Now, the video's not done, stay tuned. We're gonna go around and do some other things, but I'm already convinced, I'm convinced. This was the primary reason I wanted to try this saw. So before I upload this video, I am going to become an affiliate with Natiti. I am going to put the coupon code in there. What I'll do is I'll put the direct link to my affiliate uh, place where you click on that, go to this saw, use the coupon code and get your, I believe it's an 8% discount off of this. Wow. <laughs> what? Wow. You like that last one? Stay here all day. I got more of them. I got a, I've got an audience here with this little bird. So here you see this trail. We keep a trail carved down all the way around our entire property. We walk on it. We ride our four wheelers and motorcycles. And um, I run, run on it three laps is a mile. So that way I can get some exercise in without having to leave the property. Uh, but by the end of each year, by the end of each mowing season, some of the, the trees, the bushes, uh, along the edge of the field or the edge of the trail grow into the trail. I have a tendency to let them get ahead of me because uh, Well, I have some hedge clippers handheld hedge clippers. They're a little bit bulky and uh, I'm like, well, I'll get it next time Well by the time next time rolls around summer's over and it's actually been like four or five more more times the limbs are too thick for the for the uh, handheld limb clippers. So then I'm in a situation where I'm like, gosh, now I gotta lug that 25 pound chainsaw around. Not anymore. Let's check it out, let's see how it does. So if I'm on my mower, I gotta duck and all that stuff. And well, that's just no fun. Wow, look at that. 
you see that? Look, now I don't have to duck when I go through there anymore. Wow, that almost makes me feel like mowing grass today. Almost. Man, even he didn't laugh. But look at that. I mean, it's not as big and round as that gray birch I cut up down there that, you know, I'm going to make snow people out of. But, wow, there's another great, great project right there. Let's go find some more projects. I had a tree fall, actually, on a neighbor's property um, some time ago. And the top came over on my property. And, again, uh, we're talking about limbs this size. Uh, kind of small for that big Husqvarna. Definitely too big for, a, for handheld tools. So let's go see if this little nativity, and this is way over there, about a half mile, will do that job. All right, so here you see we have another medium-sized job. Uh, this is the top of a maple tree that actually, uh, the base of which, the root ball is over on my neighbor's property. It fell, and only the, the top came to our property. Um, again, I didn't want to carry the 20 pound Husqvarna down here. That saw is a beast, trust me, but this job is just too small for it. And I didn't want to wear out my, you know, my arm sitting here sawing this thing up all day. So this is another one of those projects I've had in the back of my mind for that perfect sized tool to do the job. And it turns out it's looking like the nativity so far. And you know what else I thought about on the way over here? You're not going to get a pair of safety glasses and gloves for less than 10 to 20 bucks. So, I mean, you knock that right off of that retail price of 109 after you've knocked off the 8% coupon code you get from down there. I mean, you're looking at like, you know, the equivalency of only spending approximately $80. All right, let's see how it does in this situation. Wow. Wow. You see that? You see how easy that is? Look at this. And... I'm just going to toss this over there to the side. We'll pile that up and that'll make perfect kindling for our, for our wood stove fires to start our wood stove fires. And you know, now this, this maple is a little bit past gone. I like to use a nice clean wood when I make my projects. This fell, you know, a little while ago, but let's say it happens again. Could I possibly come out here and make my wood cookies? Say, remember what I said, put that that bin down underneath here and just let cut cookies and let them fall into the bin? Let's find out. Wow. Wow. So look at that. See, I like to use, um, I like to get as much use out of natural products as I can like when a tree dies when it falls yeah you can get firewood out of it but even the limbs look at that this saw is cutting perfectly sized perfectly smooth wood cookies so I can do this now in the field save me time in the shop you know the next time I get, I get a, a tree that, that falls so this is, is saving me effort saving me space because it's so small and most importantly to me it's saving me time all right, you deer hunters out there know what you're looking at here, right? I've got a buck rub made within the last week here on this pine tree. This is just another use, another practical use for this tiny little saw. Let's say you're a hunter, bow hunter, crossbow, uh, firearm, whatever, muzzle loader, and you know the spot where the big buck has determined and dictated, this is my territory, everybody else stay out. That's what this means, by the way, for those of you who don't deer hunt. And so you find a spot, you know, okay, they come that way, they come through there. This is a perfect location. Clearly he's gonna come through here to check his, his, uh, his, uh, his, his scrapes uh, to see if there's any pretty little does hanging around. And you've got the perfect angle from the direction from where he steps out of that woods, except for this limb. You're like, oh no, how can I get the shot off? That limb is in the way. If it just weren't for that limb, it'd be the perfect angle to get the shot off. Look at that. Look at that. Now when he comes through here to destroy your trees again or look for those pretty little does or both. You got the perfect shot, the perfect clear shot. And this thing leaves such a clean cut. That's not gonna hurt the tree. That doesn't damage the tree. 
another practical use for this little nitty nitty saw. All right, final example, because this is something that I've been putting off for a while. You see, we've got yet another trail here. This goes up to our family campground on the back part of our property. We've kept this trail mowed down since we bought the place six years ago when it was all a hay field because we like to drive our truck up here. We have parties sometimes, especially big shindig on Thanksgiving, and we have friends over, and they, some of them will take their cars up there. Uh, the, the trees have been doing a great job growing, and uh, I don't want to cut them down because they're beautiful. However, when I drive my really nice Dodge Ram 1500 pickup through, truck through here, they're scraping the sides, and I don't want that to happen. So I just, I'm just going to cut the limbs, and I finally have the perfect saw to do that with. I'm wrapping this video up here because I like this saw so much. This is, this is the, true, the true story right here. This isn't me just being a goofball. Um, I want to play with the saw. I want to go around all these little projects I've been putting off. I want to get to them like this one. buck rub on this tree. I don't know if you can tell or not from that far away. That's a new one. But look at that. So I can now drive my truck through here. Every time I've been coming through here, um, it's been getting the sides. These limbs have been scrapping, scraping the sides. My friends can now drive their vehicles up through here. Uh, we have friends that live in the city that don't do country stuff like hauling wood and stuff. And they, some of them get freaked out when they come up here with the idea of you know, one of these limbs scraping along their Beamer or their Mercedes or whatever. Well, those, those Beamers and Mercedes are safe now because of this Natitty chainsaw. Look at that, nice clean cuts. And again, we like to use everything. I have a place I'll throw these up and after they've dried for a couple of months, we'll use these for, um, for kindling for the wood stove too. Or I might carve some of them up with my carving knives and turn them into little wood gnomes or whatever. Or uh, something I created, I call it Junaka! It's a neat little project. You can see those in our um, Etsy store. The link is in the description box below. So let me wrap this up with no further nerdity. Uh, I, I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm going to sign up by the time this video is uploaded and made public on YouTube. I'm going to become a Natitty affiliate. Uh, I will put the link in the description box. That's just right down there below the video. It'll say some, some, have some wordage and then you're going to see, it'll say more dot, dot, dot. Click on that. It'll open up the description box of the video. And the first link in there is going to be the link to where you can purchase one of these Natitty saws. Then I'm going to put the link for the coupon code in there so you can get a discount. And if you are a social media person, or if you'd like to become a Natitty affiliate, I'll put a link in there where you can do the same. Um, it's a good opportunity. It's a good product for a good price. So with that said, you enjoy the rest of your day and I'm going to keep using my new toy with the free, came with the free safety glasses and the, the free gloves. Again, I usually wear gloves this color. It's nice being able to tell where the, the saw ends and my hand begins, you know? I just gotta find something to cut first. <laughs>